Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm really excited to be sharing the first in my 12 Days of Christmas series where I'll be sharing 12 Christmassy projects with you right up until Christmas Eve. So for this first project I'm going to be using this stamp set from Kitchen Sink Stamps. This is the multi-step figure skate stamp and it has five large stamps that layer together to create the most realistic looking ice skates you'll ever see. <laughs> And you get this clear film here that kind of um, highlights all of the different images and the sentiments. They read, let it snow, thanks, birthday, warm, holidays, go figure, have an ice day, uh, with happy to say and gliding by. So first up, I'm going to go ahead and line up the first stamp in my Misty. I'm using the Mini Misty today and I'm just following the order that the stamps are numbered. And I'll just go ahead and ink those up in three different colours of Simon Says Stamp ink. Because I'm going to go to the trouble of lining these up in my Misty, I might as well go ahead and stamp two of these at the same time. I only need one for today's card, but this way I've got a spare on hand if I want to recreate the same card or to use this on another project. So when working with layered stamps such as this one, you start usually with the boldest stamp, the one that has the largest surface area, and you start with your lightest colour. There'll then be a section of the stamp that you use to line up your images, and this one is really easy. There's a gap between the boot and the blades, and that image is repeated on each of the stamps, so it's really easy just to look straight through these clear stamps and find out exactly where you need to line that up. As I'm working through, I'll stamp some of these just using one layer of ink, and I'll stamp some of these a couple of times just to darken up that ink and kind of stretch those supplies. So you don't necessarily need to have five different grey toned inks to get this kind of a look because you can build up with what you have by doing some double or maybe even triple stamping just to darken those colours. I think this stamp would be really fun to use um, some, some really crazy colours on there. I've gone for kind of a traditional kind of vintage looking set of skates, kind of maybe um, they've been sat in the attic for a while, maybe for someone who used to be a figure skater when they were younger. I think um, that kind of worn white look looks really great for these types of stamps, which is why I went with the grey toned inks. And the specific ones that I'm using are Simon Says Stamp Fog, Simon Says Stamp Fossil, and Simon Says Stamp Stone. I'll also go ahead and use coordinating colours in my cardstock, so you'll see as I pull, pull those together they'll match perfectly with the inks. As you're stamping through these pieces you might kind of think that everything looks kind of messy at first, but once you get to that last and final layer everything really pulls together and you'll see that you have the most beautiful skates. I really really enjoy working with these stamps and they have been the easiest stamps to line up of any multi-step stamps that I've used and I'd have to say that my only complaint with kitchen sink stamps so far, I've got a couple different ones that I've used, my only complaint is that they are so realistic it makes it difficult to use any of your other imagery stamps with this, but kitchen sink stamps has the most beautiful selection for you to choose from, and I'll have everything linked in the description below. So you can go ahead and check that out if this is of interest to you. I, I cannot get over how beautiful these ice skates look. I'm really pleased with how they turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and die cut one of these using a circle die from my stash. So I just lined that up on the piece that I'd used here and used my die cut machine. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring in one of my coordinating cardstock pieces and cut the next size up circle. And these are the Lawn Fawn large and small stitch circle dies. And then I'm just going to go ahead and glue one on top of the other and then I'll be able to add this to my card base. So for my card panel I wanted to continue the stitching detail. So I have here a Simon Says Stamp rectangle die and I ran that through my die cut machine to cut this to be slightly smaller than my four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card just so I can have a nice border. So I've brought back in this panel that I cut my circle out of and I'm using again my Mini Misty and this grid here to line up a couple of the stamps to build my own sentiment. I really like that there's multiple different stamps here so you can really customise what you want your sentiment to say. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that down using VersaFine Onyx Black and it will read Gliding By with Winter Wishes. 
I have here one of the Heffy Doodle Strips of Ease dies and I'll be using that just to cut around my sentiment. Again, just so I can continue that stitching detail and I have a perfect sized strip of cardstock for this sentiment. I'll go ahead and realign this just to add that stitching detail to each of the edges and just trim it down so it's the perfect size for my card panel. To do this I just lay it on top and then gently wiggle that die back into position and you'll feel the edges of that die kind of drop into place of this stitching detail. And you can see that gives just the perfect stitch strip to go across the front of this card. So I'm going to go ahead and use some double sided tape to stick this piece down. You could actually turn this piece into a tree ornament and I did consider doing that by adding some string and sandwiching that between um, the other image that I'd created so you kind of had the same images on the front and the back and you could definitely do that if that's something that you want to try. But for this I decided to go ahead and stick everything flat down to the cardstock and just really allow, allow that ice skate image to kind of be the centre of attention. I've used my Teflon bone folder and my Martha Stewart scoreboard just to go ahead and score my cardstock to create a top folding four and a quarter by five and a half inch card, card base. <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and stick this panel down. Again, not using any foam tape, which is rare for me, but I really wanted those ice skates to be the focus of attention here and for the eye to really be drawn into them. So that is it for today's card. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope that you are also as obsessed as I am with this multi-step stamp that gives such a realistic look. I'll have a link in the description below so you can check out all the other stamps that Kitchen Six Stamps have come up with. They have some really brilliant ones on their website so I hope you'll check that out. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you are not already subscribed to my channel you can go ahead and tap on the logo to become a subscriber and you can also hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I post. I'll be back again on Monday with day two of my 12 days of Christmas. I hope to see you there. But that's all from me today. Bye for now.